Okay, so next. How to determine hybridization of central atom? So, kita dah faham tadi teori behind hybridization. So, next kita nak figure out macam mana nak uh, determine hybridization untuk central atom. Okay, so to determine this hybridization of central atom, ada beberapa step lah. Okay, so dekat sini ada perubahan sikit. Saya buat setelah saya fikir-fikir which one better. Okay, so the first step adalah draw the Lewis structure. This one you cannot avoid lah. Okay, so draw the Lewis structure. After that, uh, kamu kena tulis electronic configuration for the central atom. Tapi dekat sini ada tiga jenis electronic configuration untuk central atom yang kamu kena tulis. So, kita, first kita start with ground state. So, you have to did, right? Okay, so electronic configuration in the form of orbital diagram. Tapi just write untuk valence electron sahaja. Okay, untuk ground state. After that, macam tadi, kalau ada possibility untuk berlakunya excitation or promotion of electron from lower energy level to higher energy level, so kita akan promote the electron. Okay, so kalau berlaku promotion of electron, that's mean there will be a state called excited state. Okay, tapi possible juga in some cases whereby excitation of electron is not necessary. Ada kalanya tak perlu. So, macam mana nak tahu perlu tak perlu later on kita akan tengok. Okay, so once dah ada excited state so settle dekat situ next step is we need to figure out the hybridized state of the central atom. Okay, so hybridized state for this central atom and then macam tadi lah sp, sp2, sp3, sp3d and sp3d2 tu kita kena determine Once kita dah determine semua, so kita kena uh, predict the molecular geometry that we need to draw. Okay, so predict the molecular geometry that we need to draw. Macam tadi, kalau sp3 hybridize, we know that the shape is tetrahedral. Kalau sp2 is trigonal planar. Kalau sp is linear, that's mean kamu kena hafal lah. Okay, shape-shape dia apa. And then, next, the last step adalah uh, state the brief, a brief explanation ataupun the way we explain Our explanation is just by draw the the hybrid orbital. Okay, so draw this hybrid orbital. Alright, so let us jump to the example. Okay, so the first hybridization that we will learn is sp3 hybridization. Okay, so for sp3 hybridization, as explained before, four sp3 hybrid orbital are produced by mixing one s orbital and three p orbital. So end up kita dapat this sp3 orbital ada empat, and this sp3 orbital align themselves to be as far apart as possible to minimize the repulsion. So end up they will adopt adopt a tetrahedral. Geometry, okay. Ingat sp3, tetrahedral geometry, and all the bond, all the lobes, are the angle, sebanyak 109.5, and this angle the same as the one that kita hafal masa chapter VSEPR. Okay, so let us look at the first example, which is methane. Okay, so for this Lewis structure of methane, kita saya terus draw. Okay, tapi kalau in exam, you don't know how the Lewis structure of CH4 looks like, you have to start with the calculation lah. Okay, so this is CH4 methane and then the orbital diagram for valence electron in carbon is, okay, so kita kena draw orbital diagram untuk valence electron dalam carbon. Okay, so macam saya advice tadi, so let's say you don't know apa valence electron for carbon, berapa dia punya orbital semua. So, what you can do adalah tulis balik full electronic configuration for carbon. 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Okay, and this valence electron sebenarnya adalah 2s2 and 2p2. So, kita pun tulislah ground state of carbon. Ni, kena ada ground state of carbon equal to 1, 2s and then 2p. Okay, so two electron here and two electron here. Okay, so from this ground state of carbon, okay, kita boleh keluarkan data yang ada. So the carbon atom has one, two unpaired electron. Okay, so two unpaired electron, it can form 
only two sigma bond with hydrogen in its ground state. Ya, betul. Sebab daripada apa yang kita belajar dalam valence bond theory, yang unpack ni yang akan share elektron dengan hydrogen. So, kalau ada dua unpack elektron, that means dia hanya boleh form dua bond dengan hydrogen. So, kita sepatutnya hanya boleh form dua bond, dua sigma bond dengan hydrogen. Tapi, there are four CH bond in methane. Ya, memang pun ada one. 2, 3, 4 CH bond in methane. Therefore, one electron from the 2S has to be excited to this unoccupied or empty 2P orbiter. So, what we need to do adalah kita kena excitekan satu elektron dekat 2S ni pergi ke unoccupied 2P orbiter. Unoccupied tu maksudnya yang 2P orbiter yang kosong so that dia jadi 4 unpaired electron. Okay, so let us write note sikit. So, this 2S, okay, dia akan excited to this one, dia panggil uh, unoccupied 2P orbital. Ataupun, if you find the word unoccupied macam susah sangat, actually empty 2P orbital. So, 2S ni akan excited pergi ke empty 2P orbital. So, end up kita kena draw lah our excited state. Okay, sebab kita ada excited electron, that's mean kita ada excited state. So, this excited state 2S and then 2P. So, one electron at 2S, one electron each dekat 2P orbital. Okay, so ini adalah hasil selepas kita excite tadi. Okay. Okay, so to determine the hybridized state or type of hybridization of carbon or any central atom, you must look at the Lewis structure. Cannot refer to excited state dekat sini, tak boleh. So, contoh sebab ada student yang jenis dia tak nak dengar apa yang saya cakap. Dia cakap excited state for carbon, oh, so ada 2S1, 2P ada 3. So, SP, 3 hybridized. Yes, betul untuk CH4. Tapi kalau untuk benda-benda lain, kadang-kadang itu ialah yang akan memerangkap kamu. So, to determine the hybridized state or type of hybridization, mesti tengok Lewis structure. Okay, so from your Lewis structure, carbon is bonded to 1, 2, 3, 4 bond. Okay, so 4 atom. Dia bonded to 4 atom ataupun dia ada 4 bonding pairs. That's mean dia ada 4 electron pairs. Okay, so kita belajar. Ini uh, ada 4 electron pairs okay at carbon okay so four electron pairs mean s p 3 hybridized okay so ini another tips kalau untuk type of hybridization kita ada s p p p d d okay so kita ada macam itulah d ni actually ada 5 okay so kalau dia four electron pair maksudnya satu s dua tiga lagi adalah P sebab cukup bilangan 4. So, ini 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so SP3 hybridized. So, carbon ni sebenarnya adalah SP3 hybridized. Okay. Alright, so now kita dah tahu hybridized state for carbon is SP3. So, SP3 hybridized ada 4 hybridization orbital dia. Okay, ada 4 hybrid orbital. So, kita pun draw lah. 1, 2, 3, 4. Kenapa dia ada 4 hybrid orbital? Sebab kita mix tadi 1 S orbital dengan 1 S orbital dengan 3 P orbital. So, 1 plus 3 is 4. That's why hybrid state for carbon ada 4. Okay, so kita draw 4 orbital. And then the name for this orbital adalah SP3. Hybrid orbital. Okay, so ada dua cara dekat sini. You have to label macam ni. Kamu buat semua tu adalah SP3 hybrid orbital or kalau kamu rajin lah, you can do like this. Kamu label satu-satu SP3, SP3, SP3 macam tu. Okay, tapi kalau untuk saya, I prefer this way. Okay. So, SP3 hybrid and then how many electron in each SP3 hybrid? 
So how many electron depends on the excited state tadi? Kalau excited state kita dekat sini ada satu elektron, so kita pun bawa turun satu. And the next hybrid ni ada satu, satu, satu. So kita pun satu, satu, satu. Okay? Ataupun ini macam ni jugalah. Alright. So next kita baca lagi apa dia tulis. The, the four of sp3 hybrid orbital of carbon overlap with s orbital of four hydrogen atom to form four identical sigma bond in the methane molecule. Okay, so sekarang kita ada four unpaired elektron dalam sp3 hybrid orbital. So this four unpaired ni akan overlap with hydrogen. Okay, so hydrogen kita kena tulis juga dia punya uh, ground state for hydrogen. Okay, ground state of hydrogen is 1s, 1 electron. Okay, so this 4 unpaired electron akan overlap with 4 hydrogen. So, they akan form 4 sigma bond. Okay, and then all the angle between hybrid loops are, okay, so next kita draw dulu sebelum kita uh, determine dia punya angle. Okay, so for sp3, kita tahu dia punya uh, shape adalah tetrahedral. Okay, so macam mana tahu? Refer back to this one. Okay, kalau dia sp3, dia adalah tetrahedral. Okay, so kita kena draw tetrahedral dekat sini tapi dalam bentuk loop. Okay, so 1, 2, 3 4 Okay So buruk sikit tak apa And then next one kita kena label This is This orbital is for Carbon So saya label carbon dekat tengah Okay And you have to label each Lobe adalah SP3 Hybrid Okay, so sp3, sp3, sp3 tak boleh skip. Okay, and then uh, each loop. Okay, each loop ni, okay, loop ni adalah ni lah yang satu kelopak ni kelopak kau panggil satu ni adalah satu satu loop ni adalah untuk satu orbital ni. So ada one, two, three, four orbital. So one, two, three, four orbital of sp3. And from this hybrid state, you can see each orbital ada one electron. That's mean each loop here ada one electron. So, kita pun kena isilah. Oh, sini ada one electron, one electron, one electron, one electron. Okay. And then, this carbon will bonded with hydrogen. Okay. And for hydrogen, kita tak hybridkan hydrogen tu. Okay. So, this hydrogen remain as 1s and the other one electron and the shape of 1s adalah spherical so maksudnya dekat sini kita kena draw mm, structure ni ok so let's say I use this color dia bonded with H ok Okay, so sebaiknya bulatan kamu tu sama size lah. Tapi kalau tak boleh sama size pun okay je. Tak ada masalah. Okay, jangan ketara sangat lah. Okay, and then uh, yang bulat-bulat orange tu. Okay, itu adalah 1S orbital for hydrogen. So, sekarang kita nak label. Ini adalah hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. And the orbital is 1S, 1S, 1S. 1s and 1s orbital ni ada 1 electron so kita kena isi 1 electron dalam setiap loop ok so kita pun isilah alright so kita pakai saya pakai color yang sama so ini isi dalam opposite spin oops ok alright then Next, what you need to do is you have to label the sigma bond between C and H. Okay, memanglah C and H sigma bond sebab memang C single bond to H maksudnya sigma bond. Ini ada sigma bond, ada sigma bond, ada sigma bond. 
Okay, and from valence bond theory, we know that the uh, overlapping area tu, itu adalah sigma bond in this case. So, label sigma bond, sigma bond, sigma bond. Okay, I will use black here. Sigma bond, sigma bond and sigma bond. Okay, so next, what you need to label adalah bond angle. Kena label bond angle. Okay, since the shape for sp3 hybridized adalah tetrahedral that's mean the bond angle is the same as tetrahedral punya bond angle which is 109.5 degree ok so lepas tu barulah kita isi tempat kosong dekat sini ok so all the angle between each hybrid loads are 109.5 And then the orbital arrangement. Okay, orbital arrangement ataupun sama macam electron pair arrangement dalam topik molecular geometry yang kita belajar. Sama je. So, since there are the four electron pair. Okay. So, over here ada uh, four electron pair. So, maksudnya dia punya electron pair arrangement adalah tetrahedral. Okay. And dekat carbon carbon sini there is no lone pair okay there are the four electron pair which is four bonding so that's mean the molecular geometry dia sama macam electron pair arrangement ataupun orbital arrangement dia which is tetrahedral juga okay so in exam kalau dia minta explanation actually explanation dia in the form of drawing like this And then, kena tulis lah orbital arrangement dia apa, molecular geometry dia apa, berapa bond angle, this hybridized state, excited state, ground state, wajib tulis together with Lewis structure. Okay, and ayat-ayat tengah ni untuk explanation bagi kamu faham lah. Alright, so done. This one. So next, let us look at the next example which is ammonia. Okay, so macam tadi, first kita start dengan Lewis structure of ammonia. Okay, so for this Lewis structure, saya terus draw lah Lewis structure dia. And ammonia ada tiga bonding, tiga bonds with hydrogen and then one lone pair. Okay, again, if you don't know the Lewis structure, step by step follow the calculation and so on. Okay, and then from this Lewis structure, kita kena determine dia punya ground state, excited state and hybridized state for nitrogen sebab dia adalah central atom. Okay, so nak determine ground state, excited state semua tu, kamu kena tahu dia punya valence electronic configuration. Okay, so nitrogen ada 7, okay, valence, uh, 7 electron sebenarnya. So, 1S2, 2S2, 2P3. Okay, so this is this electronic configuration for nitrogen. Tapi kita hanya akan ambil dia punya valence electronic configuration untuk jadikan dia ground state. Okay, so kita pun tulis lah ground state of nitrogen is 2S2 and 2P3. Okay, so nice. Alright, so next kita fikir ada tak possibility untuk berlakunya excitation of electron. So, kita compare our Lewis structure together with our ground state. Okay, dekat Lewis structure kita, this nitrogen need to form 1, 2, 3 bond. Okay, so that's mean This nitrogen perlukan 3 unpaired electron to form 3 bond. Okay. So, kita tengok balik ground state kita. Oh, memang just nice. Kita ada 1, 2, 3 unpaired electron. So, kita catat sikit sini. Kita ada ini uh, total ada 3 unpaired. 3 unpaired electron. Okay, so 3 unpaired electron, that is mean nitrogen can form 3 bonds with hydrogen. Okay, so from this ground state 
of nitrogen kita tahulah oh ada tiga unpaired that's mean nitrogen can form tiga bond memang kita nak form tiga bond pun kan so maksudnya dekat sini kita dah tak perlu excite nitrogen lagi pun kalau kita fikir logik kita nak excite nitrogen pergi mana ok 2s ni kita nak hantar dia pergi mana lagi elektron ni 2p dah penuh ok tak ada empty 2p orbital so that's why excitation here tak berlaku lah ok So, over here, since excited state kita sama macam ground state, so kita pun saling baliklah. Excited state of nitrogen is exactly the same as this ground state. So, I will just copy back. Okay. And then, the next step is we want to determine the hybridized state of nitrogen ok so untuk hybridized state tadi saya cakap you have to refer to Lewis structure yes so kita back to our Lewis structure here so kita dekat Lewis structure ni kita kena kira kita ada berapa total electron pair at nitrogen ok so at nitrogen kita ada 1, 2, 3 bond So, 3 bonding pairs plus with ini kita panggil lone pair. So, plus with 1 lone pair. So, total 4 electron pairs. Okay. So, kalau 4 electron pairs, tadi kita kata S, P, 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 D, D, D ada 5 kan. Okay. So, at 4. So, maksudnya start from S pergi P, 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 P sahaja. Ok, so maksudnya 1, 2, 3, 4. SP3 hybrid. So, S ni adalah SP3 hybrid orbital. So, SP3 hybrid orbital ada 4 orbital sebab 1S, 1S and 3 lagi adalah P. Ok, so kita pun buatlah 1, 2, 3, 4. So, all of this orbital are SP3 hybrid orbital and electron nak isi dekat hybrid orbital ni saya cakap tengok dekat excited state so this excited state dekat sini ada sepasang electron so kita salin baliklah sepasang ok and the next one ada unpaired 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 so satu 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 ok oh so this one a little bit different from tadi sebab tadi dia semua unpaired. Okay. But this one, dia ada satu yang macam ni. So, saya bagi tips. If you jumpa dekat hybridized state ada satu elektron yang sepasang macam ni. That's mean dekat nitrogen tu ada lone pair. Okay. Kalau sini ada one, satu yang pasangan tu. That's mean dia ada one lone pair. Okay, and kita refer balik to our Lewis structure. Kita kena sentiasa check dengan Lewis structure. Kita tally tak? Okay, so dekat Lewis structure kita memang ada one lone pair dekat nitrogen. And somehow our hybridized state pun ada one lone pair. So, maksudnya kita punya hybridization step kita buat betul. Okay, so this topic senang. Kamu boleh check betul ke tak dengan Lewis structure kamu. Okay, so again... Since this is sp3 hybrid orbital, so maksudnya kita kena draw shape tetrahedral. So kita draw shape of tetrahedral dalam bentuk loop macam ni. Okay. Macam kaki sotong dah. And then... Dia, uh, this is nitrogen so kita akan label terang-terang dekat tengah ni this is actually nitrogen and then each lobe adalah sp3 hybrid orbital so label sp3 for each lobe and then this one uh, this one lain sikit sebab kita ada sepasang macam ni ok so maksudnya kita ada one lone pair kalau shape asal dia tetrahedral, bila ada one lone pair tadi, kita kita dah hafal dalam VSAPR, dia akan jadi trigonal piramida. So, in order to make sure your shape looks like trigonal piramida, I would advise you to place this lone pair dekat atas ni. So, that dia nampak trigonal piramida tu. 
So, lompat dekat atas. And yang unpack tiga lagi ni, letaklah di tiga loop tu. Okay, so one, one, one. Okay, and since this nitrogen bonded with hydrogen, so hydrogen punya ground state, kita kena tulis juga. So, kita tulislah bawah ni. So, ground state of hydrogen actually adalah 1s, 1 electron. So, shape dia adalah bulat je lah. Okay, so kita pun nak draw bulat tu macam mana. Okay, so we use this colour again. So, bulat. Alright. Okay. And then, so, ini adalah hydrogen. So, kita kena label semua ni hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. And the orbital is 1s, 1s and 1s. And then, there are the one electron each. So, one, one, one. Okay. So, the next step. Kita kena buat apa? Kita kena draw dia punya sigma bond. Okay. And dengan H punya bond ni adalah sigma bond, sigma bond, sigma bond. So, kita kena draw lah dekat tempat overlapping tu adalah sigma bond, sigma bond and sigma bond. Okay. And for this one. Since shape dia dah jadi trigonal pyramidal, so the bond angle now become, okay, so bond angle dia, kalau tak muat tempat, kamu boleh label dia sebagai A and then kamu tulislah A equal to, in this case, less than 109.5, okay, angle dia jadi less than 109.5 ataupun kalau untuk ammonia, kamu kena Hafal dia punya angle yang sebenar, yang lebih tepat iaitu angle for ammonia adalah 107 degree. Okay, and then ada dua benda lagi yang kita belum tulis iaitu, yes, we need to write dia punya orbital arrangement dan juga molecular geometry. Alright, since tak cukup ruang, so saya akan tulis dekat atas ni. Orbital arrangement. Okay, so orbital uh, arrangement equal to uh, tetrahedral. Tapi, since ada one lone pair, so molecular geometry dia jadi... Trigonal Pyramid Okay So settle for Ammonia Alright So next Adalah H2O Okay H2O dan OCL2 So saya nak kamu cuba Buat. So, ini adalah your homework. The same for this one. Okay. So, cuba buat because this topic, SP3, SP2, SP3D, apa semua benda tu actually related. So, once kamu faham how to draw this uh, hybridization for SP3, SP2, SP, semua-semua yang lain lebih Kurang sahaja. Tapi kalau kamu start dekat sini, kamu akan start for the rest of this topic. Okay. So, if you have any problem, you can ask me. You can WhatsApp or comment below. Okay. So, thank you so much. Bye.